Hello, I'm Martin Park. You can call me coach. For those that don't know me, I'm a naturopath and a master coach and trainer who has been working professionally in the health, fitness, wellness and self-improvement industries for over 45 years. If you are someone who is interested in learning how to maximize your overall health, well-being and performance, then welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how taking care of yourself is the foundation of all wellness, happiness and success. So with all that good stuff at stake, what does self-care even mean? Self-care involves recognizing our needs and making conscious choices to nurture ourselves. This could include activities such as exercising regularly, eating healthily, getting enough sleep, managing stress effectively, practicing mindfulness, meditation or relaxation, engaging in hobbies or activities we enjoy and setting boundaries to protect our time and energy. By taking care of ourselves, we cultivate a strong foundation for wellness, happiness and success. When we feel healthy, balanced and fulfilled, we are more likely to thrive in all aspects of our lives, whether it's in our careers, relationships or personal growth. Therefore, investing in self-care is not only beneficial for ourselves, but also for those around us, as it enables us to show up as our best selves in every area of our lives. Put simply, Prioritizing self-care is crucial for overall well-being as it encompasses various aspects of our lives, including physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. And when we take care of ourselves, we are better equipped to handle life's challenges, maintain positive relationships and pursue our goals with vigor and resilience. So how do we prioritize self-care? It first begins with a mindset shift where we recognize that taking care of ourselves isn't selfish, but rather a prerequisite for being able to give our best to ourselves, to others and to all our endeavors. And while that statement sounds fairly straightforward and something I believe most reasonably aware people will already understand, prioritizing our own self-care is a practice that is severely lacking in most people's lives. And I believe the reason for this is multifaceted. Firstly, there's a pervasive modern cultural norm that glorifies busyness and productivity, often at the expense of personal well-being. In our fast-paced society, people feel pressured to constantly achieve and meet expectations, leaving little time or energy for self-care. This attitude then puts self-care on the back burner, something that we will get to later, something that we will start working on next Monday or perhaps the Monday after that. For some, particularly men, seeking support for physical or mental health issues is perceived as a sign of weakness or failure, leading people to avoid addressing their physical and emotional well-being altogether. This attitude can then cause them to engage in activities like overworking, sexual and pornography addiction, drugs, alcohol, etc. that while these activities may provide short-term relief, they unfortunately don't address their true underlying needs. Additionally, many individuals struggle with feelings of guilt or selfishness when prioritizing their own needs over the needs of others. This internal conflict is especially pronounced for those with parenting and caregiving responsibilities or demanding work schedules, who may perceive self-care as indulgent or an unnecessary task. Overall, I believe a combination of societal pressures, stigmas and general misconceptions about self-care alongside basic personal neglect contribute to the widespread lack of self-care in many people's lives. But at the end of the day, regardless of what is the cause of self-neglect and the complete disregard of self-care, the only thing that truly matters is that we, you, I, fix it. We have to do what I said in the opening statement, and that is to create a mindset shift where we allow ourselves to recognize that taking care of ourselves isn't selfish, but rather a prerequisite for being able to give our best to ourselves and to others and to all our endeavors. And how do we do that? Well, we start by understanding that self-care isn't a luxury, it is a necessity. We start by setting realistic goals, making small changes and incorporating simple self-care practices into our daily lives. We start by cultivating self-awareness, taking time to reflect on our needs, feelings and triggers, paying particular attention to physical cues like fatigue, thirst, hunger, tension and stress. We start by practicing mindfulness, making sleep, rest and relaxation techniques integral parts of our daily routines. We start by nourishing our bodies with regular activity and nutritious food. 
We start by nourishing our minds, exposing ourselves to uplifting and inspiring content that stimulates our intellect and ignites our passion. We start by engaging in activities we enjoy, making time for hobbies and interests that bring us joy and fulfillment. We start by practicing self-compassion, treating ourselves with kindness and understanding during challenging times. We start by practicing gratitude, cultivating a mindset of appreciation for the positive aspects of our lives. We start by establishing boundaries and learning to say no to things that deplete our energy or don't align with our priorities. We start by investing time and energy into cultivating meaningful relationships and nurturing our social connections for emotional well-being by regularly connecting with others that uplift and support us. And finally, we start by not hesitating to seek support from others, whether through friends, family or professionals, as understanding that self-care also involves reaching out for assistance when needed is crucial for fostering resilience and maintaining our well-being. So that's how we do it. By incorporating these 12 simple yet powerful strategies and making self-care a priority in your life, you will cultivate a deeper sense of well-being and resilience, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with grace and confidence. This will then create a ripple effect of positivity that benefits everyone around you. Put simply, self-care is about setting aside your time and your effort to care for yourself. And why would you not want to do that? Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your company. If you found value in today's episode, then please hit the subscribe, like or follow buttons to help me with growing my channel. I look forward to spending some time with you again. Bye for now.